coach. So this is now four straight wins over ranked teams to open the season. So not only kind of how you're winning, given the quality of the opponent, just kind of your thoughts on how well your team's looked so far this season. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely the schedule. I didn't didn't make it easy on the guys, but I, I do think with our guys, I think that's kind of what we sold them on coming here was you're going to play a really tough schedule. I do there do think there is something to realize in like when you start watching the other team and see how good they are. I just think you get more focus at practice um, and like the practices are more competitive because um, it's hard to, you know, they, there's so much information now that, you know, if you if there's a sense that maybe the team isn't quite as good. Um, certainly we never say that as coaches, but if there's a perception of that or maybe it's a, a new team or something like that, like you might not get the same focus. And I feel like there's a lot to that because if you're practicing that much harder for four weeks, right, you're you're gonna get more out of it. There'll be more development, things that maybe people don't see. Um, and again, hopefully you grow. Um, and as we get along, we just get better. Um, so um, again, proud of these guys. Obviously Luke was awesome today in terms of getting us possessions. And Eric uh, just gave us some, some big goals early. Um, so psyched for him. Uh, we watched the film from last year and just the, his development uh, in the last 12 months, his confidence has been great to see. And then for Luke and Eric, how impactful would you guys kind of feel playing such a difficult schedule early on kind of helped you guys down the stretch of the season? I mean, you got number one Notre Dame up next. So just kind of for you guys going through the motions of the game, just how impactful is it to really play these difficult games early on? Yeah, I mean, I think it's great, especially when you got, you know, new guys every year, you know. Eric's, you know, his freshman year, he redshirted, and, you know, he's still pretty new to everything, and just getting experience for guys early on the season is really important. And, you know, like Coach said, like, it's kind of what sells us on coming here. Um, you know, those are the games you want to play in, and, you know, that kind of, I feel like, really helps our team grow playing those games. Um, so it goes a long way. Um, but, yeah, I think just getting like, experience early on the season and being in tight games is really important for us. Yeah, kind of what Luke said there, like being a young guy last year and trying to figure everything out. You play these ranked teams, top 25 teams, and it's your first four games. And that sets you up so much down the road that like when we're playing in big time games, like Big Ten games, and we've already been through the ex experiences with ranked teams, it just helps so much. So, Coach, you had talked uh, the past few weeks about the pace of the offense. Were you happy with it today? Um. Felt like it was a, you know, we, we always want the guys to kind of probe in early offense and then kind of almost, the, we always use the same example, like stick your toe in the water and if you feel like there's something there, jump in. Um, and I felt like we were doing that and there were some times where I think in the second quarter, especially like we got just, we were a little bit rushed. Uh, we took some really early shots and, and I'm not saying they were bad shots, but we took maybe the first, not the best, and it, there were about like five out of six there for a little bit. That's what we've heard the timeout about, like I think about midway point of the second, just to kind of catch our breath. And again, don't want to necessarily say, or right, you can't go to the goal, but um, just felt like we we were losing the, like we were getting so many extra possessions from Luke, but then we were just kind of giving them back so quickly. And, and you're never going to score on all of them. So you kind of hope that you get a few um, and you know you're going to give a few back, and you have to bite your tongue when that happens. But I just felt like we were, it was kind of getting away from us in terms of like just getting, you know, making them have to get stops. And, and Gia Ficaro was great. You got to give him his due. 20 saves is, is pretty awesome. Obviously, you know, he played really well, and that helped kind of counter how well Luke and the wing guys did today. So um, certainly got to shoot better, um, got to do a better job there. But, you know, we had a lot of respect for Gia Ficaro. I think he was second in the nation in save percentage last year. So um, he was terrific on film, and he's terrific today. Coach, just kind of following up on that. The offense has had quarters where they look dominant and quarters where they kind of go flat, and then it was kind of third, you know, late in the third when they kind of just got going again. With Notre Dame coming up, what do you think is the most important thing to look for with quarters of offense? Yeah, to beat a team as good as them, you you, you got to play a good 60 minutes or as, as, as close a good 60 minutes at this time of the year as possible because um, they're great everywhere. Um, I haven't watched them. Um, yet this year, but I know who's coming back and some of the guys they brought in and, and how good a coaching staff that is. So, um, you know, obviously we were solely focused on this and 
Um, again, we have a lot of respect for Matt Madelon. You know, he and his staff do a great job. Um, they were in the semis two years ago um, and obviously won the, the, the Ivy League championship last year and, and some good guys <coughs> back and they've recruited really well. Uh, some of the kids that they brought in, I think it was like a top five class and, and locally, uh, those two Georgetown prep kids, they're gonna be studs. So when you run into a team that has so much turnover and has so many people in place, it's probably better to catch them at this time of the year than later. But can you get a sense, even just from what you saw preparing this week and today, what kind of their trajectory could be just based on, on, on what, what they have right yeah, now? Yeah, they're gonna be fine. They really are. You know, you're starting two pro